we're going to talk about the Dragonfly Doji Candlestick. And how you trade this thing, you got to wait for it to appear after a downtrend or a pullback. And you want to look for confirmation with increased volume or some other bullish indicator. And you can consider entering a long position at the opening of the next candle. Place a stop loss below the low of it. So let's dig a little bit deeper. What is it? It's just a candlestick pattern characterized by a long lower shadow, no upper shadow or a very small one, and a small body near the top of the price range. And what it suggests is there's buyer intervention after a pullback or a downtrend, and that indicates a shift from bearish to bullish momentum. So how do we interpret this? The long lower shadow and the minimal upper shadow. This indicates that buyers have successfully pushed prices back to the opening price despite initial selling pressure. So when this pattern appears after a downtrend, it suggests diminishing selling pressure and a potential for long positions. And when you combine it with other indicators, it can enhance your understanding of the trend and the potential opportunity that's in front of you. And one approach is just to use it in conjunction with support and resistance levels. Another way is to look for confirmation from other candlestick patterns or other indicators. When we compare the hammer and the dragonfly doji, they both signal potential bullish reversals. Now the hammer, small body at the top, the dragonfly has little to no body. Now both patterns are going to indicate an increase in buying pressure and they do require some confirmation from subsequent bullish candlesticks to validate that reversal. So developing a strategy with it, you got to start by identifying it properly. Then you're going to use it in conjunction with other tools to determine the best entry and exit points for your trades. So you can look for it in a downtrend or a correction. Use other indicators. Let's do a little bit of a walkthrough on this one here. So this strategy is going to combine candlestick patterns, trend analysis, momentum indicators, support and resistance levels. So observing the daily chart, we're going to confirm the presence of this pattern. We're going to evaluate the trend direction through the moving averages. We're going to assess momentum with oscillators and we're going to pinpoint key levels that we can position against. So this strategy is going to emphasize how important timing is, risk management, because we're going to use stop loss orders. We're going to assess some profit targets. How do we do this? We're going to assess trend direction. We're going to determine the overall trend direction. We're going to use a moving average. So we can use a 50 day average above the 200 average. That's going to consider the trend to be bullish and vice versa. We're going to evaluate momentum. We're going to use the 310 oscillator or any other momentum indicator to assess the strength of the reversal. We can look for bullish divergence or positive momentum confirmation with the pattern. Support and resistance levels, got to identify them. These levels will act or could act as potential areas of price reversals or continuations. So how do we enter these? Once this pattern is confirmed, the trend is in our favor, the oscillator is showing positive momentum, we can enter a long position at the opening of the next candle after the Dragonfly Doji. You want to ensure that the price is above a support level. Our stop loss, we can set it below the nearest support level or the low of the Dragonfly Doji. And this is going to help limit our losses if the trade does not go as expected. Our take profits, identify the nearest resistance level or a previous swing high as a potential area to exit the trade. You can adjust these targets based on your risk reward ratio as well. Look for three times your risk. Go to manage the trade. Just monitor its progress. Consider adjusting your stop loss as a trailing stop to protect the profits as the trade goes in your favor. And you've got to be aware of any news events that could impact the trade and adjust those as needed. Now, some common mistakes that you got to avoid, and that just is relying just on this pattern. You got to consider other factors. These can show up anywhere on the chart. You could enter a trade too soon without confirming from other indicators. You could maybe ignore the overall market context. These are errors you got to avoid. And you can use it for short-term and long-term trading. It just depends on what time frame you're looking at. People talk about automated trading and yeah, you could use it. It's possible, but you got to make sure that this algorithm is programmed to recognize and act on this pattern. And you always have to monitor these even though they are automated. To wrap it up, I think it's a pretty powerful tool. You can use this to identify reversals in the market. You don't have to trade them. Just consider it a trend reversal. You can combine it with other tools and develop a trading strategy like the one we just talked about here to take advantage of these signals. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.